I made a recent video, part of the Dirty Dozen series, where I made up this 555 kit, which is very similar to a project that I designed probably about two or three years ago. And I was a little disappointed, apart, I mean, it did work, but the um, square wave that came out of it was extremely noisy compared to mine. So I thought I'd just investigate that a little bit. And what I'll do is I'll start with a power supply. So when I did that uh, video, I used the power straight out of the Buck Boost converter, the ZK 4KX. And even though it produced a smooth um, or lovely crisp square wave on my PCB, it was very, very noisy here. So maybe that's part of it. And this particular um, power supply, which, uh, which I made myself, I can route through that power through to three LM338s under the hood there, uh, which have been configured to produce 3.3 volts, 5 volts and 12 volts respectively. So that should be a bit more stable if I hook it up to, let's say, the 12 volt uh, side and the 555 should be 12 volt tolerance, so that shouldn't be a problem. And what I might also do is put this um, capacitor combo in here. This is a 47 microfarad capacitor and it's got a 100 uh, nanofarad uh, capacitor attached to it as well, so that should add some additional smoothing. If that doesn't work, I'm going to take out the 555 timer here and I'm going to substitute in this one, which I know works. And if that doesn't work, I'll check all these connections again, but it could just be a rubbish PCB. Uh, one of the things which I did uh, on mine was to make sure that I used um, a good ground plane and you can even see a, a little decoupling capacitor underneath there. So, look, we'll, um, we'll give this a try with uh, reconfiguring the power supply first, and then we'll go from there. Power supply buck boost is cranked up to about 15.5 volts, but coming through the top here is a lovely smooth 12 volts via the LM338 linear voltage regulator. And then I've also got that cap combo down here, uh, across VCC and ground coming into the kit. And we can see that, yes, it's sort of a little bit better, but there's still um, some nastiness going on down here in the corner of that square wave. I think it's actually a little better. I'm going to try it at uh, maybe a higher frequency and see if we can see if it sort of deteriorates as we keep going up and up. Well, around 29 kilohertz, it's not too bad, actually. And I'm wondering if it's maybe one of the capacitors that it's going through. Uh, for instance, on mine, I mostly use ceramic capacitors and uh, even some SMD ones, whereas this is uh, electrolytic, possibly at the lower frequencies. That's an issue. Not really sure. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, do a straight swap out for that chip. So if we just turn the power off. Yeah, you know, pretty similar, actually. Uh, so I don't think it's the chip, probably a combination of the capacitors that uh, that's used though. Let's just swap, uh, let's say this one in so you can see the difference. So we'll try and crank it up to where are we at the moment, around 30 kilohertz. Let's do that. Yeah, pretty similar. That's coming through the TLC555. I tried the NE555 and that was uh, not working, but no fault of the chip itself. It's just the combo that I've got here of the capacitors. Um, so this combo here is giving the higher frequency that I wanted, you know, for a fair comparison. So I'm a bit happier with the kit, but the whole point in doing the kit was to do something with it. So let's put together a charge pump circuit and do a voltage doubler. So I've got my little charge pump circuit here. These are 1N4148 diodes in um, SMD format, and these are 47 microfarad capacitors and I've just hooked them up as per this circuit there's lots of different charge pump circuits out there I chose a very simple one just for proof of concept uh, nothing fancy so what we should be getting on this side is 12 volts that's what's coming in yep pretty good and coming out of my 555 timer I've got one kilohertz 50% uh, duty cycle and so we should be getting on the other side uh, double the voltage more or less. There's some losses involved with the drops across the diodes, but uh, yeah, 22 volts coming out. Pretty steady too. Um, yeah, not too, um, not too shabby. That is the circuit working for this week. See you next time.